Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Today, Bella and I are going ashore and we're meeting Terry over there. She's taking us to a material shop because something very exciting is happening. We're getting cushions, our cushions recovered, which I'm so excited about because our cushions are so gross. So um, Terry has kindly offered to, she has a sale right and she's gonna make our cushion covers. And um, yeah, we're gonna go to the material shop. And um, we, could, we could be there a while because Bella and I are going and we're not great at decisions. So yeah, this could be a day. <laughs> we're getting um, some cushions made by the lovely Terry and Christine is helping. And they're just measuring out, doing some final measurements. We've done some measurements, but they're out today doing some final measurements. Um, it's exciting, because look how gross this is. Should we get them a sneak peek of the color of the pepper? This is what it's gonna be. <laughs> they're soon to be. Woo! Okay, so this is the old, uh, the old backing. Um, so that's the face there that the old PSS valve would seal against and you can see the marine growth was on that. So that's the remains of the PSS. What we have here is a spare lip seal. So this is another reason why I have actually favour this unit. You can put as many of these on as you like but this initially is just a spare um, lip seal. So if for some reason that the, the unit that I've installed fails, I have another one of these on the shaft ready to go. So I'm gonna install this. This is just a carrier for the lip seal that'll be on the shaft. And this pretty much goes like this, tightens up and it shouldn't spin and it should just spin with the shaft. And if ever you need a spare seal, it's on the shaft ready to go. So it's just a matter of undoing this and that's left on the shaft and you slide it down and you have a new lip seal. So I've got one on here. I probably wouldn't have minded having two, but I've got a budget to work to. So this wasn't a paid or sponsored product. This was just something we chose. And uh, I'll show you how you put it on. As the first unit here that I installed, it has, I've just got that sitting loose against the lip seal, but this slides down under the lip seal. So if there was an imperfection in this shaft, which there isn't, I've cleaned it up, but I'm still gonna use it. You slide this under, and this actually allows the shaft to slide without the lip seal touching the shaft. So the same applies for this. I'm gonna pull apart the carrier. The lip seal is here, so it's pretty much just the uh, part number forward and the spring side inside. So I just install this gently. Okay, so you can see now that this is gonna slide on the shaft and not the lip seal. So the shaft's not so bad, I'm not so worried about that, but if you've got keyways and stuff like this, which could be a sharp edge, you could damage your lip seal. So you can see now that when I slide this lip seal on, it actually slides along the plastic instead of the lip seal itself. I'm just gonna slide this down here for now. I will have to reposition all this after uh, so just for now, just like, just slide that off there, and that's your new seal ready to go. I'm only just going to loosely install this because I, I haven't finished. I've still got to slide this shaft forward. I'll leave this set on here. Like I say, you, you probably don't need this for sliding down the shaft. It's more so if you have an imperfection on your shaft. So, but I will use it. It is there. And I will put this on, and, and this is pretty straightforward. Also, this just goes forward, and this will hold the carrier. This is the carrier for the lip seal. All right, guys, I'm gonna put our flange back on, and just put a bolt, a bolt in there so that uh, our shaft doesn't go and sit on the bottom of the ocean if we were to rock around. Let's put a little bit of oil on this. I don't wanna spray anything on there because I don't want any of this to slide back to our, our spare carrier the oil spare lip seal on the carrier. A bit of oil just to help it out. Oil that up. Hopefully, I'm 
slides back on. Now on the other side or somewhere, I've got a I've got a little mark somewhere. I'll turn it around in a minute to where. So have a look now. Where is it? Oh yeah, there's my little mark here. So that gets positioned right on the edge of the flange, just so I know exactly where I had it before I pulled this apart. So instead of uh, guessing where this initially sat, it's a little bit tight. And I'm just going to clean my little bit of paint that I've spelt in there. We'll be back in a second. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't know if you can see, but so there's my little mark. I hit that with the punch. So it was right, I would say about right there. So you can see, before I pull anything apart, I punch it. So my punch was just where I could fit it inside this crack here. And I know that's how it was when I pulled it apart. You could probably have it down further, out further, but when you pull something apart, you generally want it to go back how you found it. That's exactly the position I found it. So once I get my thrust bearing on here, I can just slide this forward. I'll slide these in at the time I'm ready to do it so the lip seals don't slide on the shaft. And once this is in position, I'll remove our carriers for the lip seals. And that's our job done. I'm just gonna hook up now here so I have just put a loop on there for installation purposes. In my case, I'm just going to put a T here and run it up to a vented loop and then uh, find somewhere to attach it to the engine and take some water from our raw water system and pump it down there and it'll keep our lip seal nicely lubricated and cool. Alright guys, Captain Lee's tip for today. Have a look at this. This is a prime example if this focuses. As you can see, right there, there's a crack in that. And I have had these fail before. Obviously it's a fail underneath there where water's been sitting. But that's another fail right there. And that is so common on this design of clip. So the ones I like to use, guys, are the ones that are just stamped like this. They don't actually go right through. I haven't had one of these actually fail and they don't have that little section that breaks. There is a hole and they're pressed and they're the ones that I would recommend using. They are a little bit dearer but worth every penny when it comes to keeping the ocean out of your boat. Alright guys, the new tide seal is in there. Obviously has to be aligned and fixed up once we uh, get the rest of it together. But, but, there is oil under the engine. There wasn't before we left. Sorry about the lighting, I've got my head in here. But underneath this engine, there's oil. When we first purchased the boat, there was no oil. So we have developed a rear main oil leak. Um, I'm assuming just an old seal. So what I have to do is remove our, it's almost like a CV joint. It just allows for misalignment of an engine. So you can run it off on an angle. I'm not sure exactly what angle, but it's uh, not a bad little system. Anyway, I'm gonna remove that, inspect that. I'm gonna try and get our reduction case out with our gearbox. I'm gonna replace the engine mounts either side and on the front. I'll come in a bit closer. You can see this one is looking sad. It did have some water leaking from our exhaust elbow, which has now been welded up. Um, you can see all new hose clamps. We sort of did a bit of preventative maintenance before we left, but it obviously wasn't enough. So in this process, the gearbox comes out and behind this bell housing is a $10 oil seal and about 100 hours of work to get it out. I'm not sure how long, but it's, it's gonna be um, time consuming. I've got new cables, control cables to replace. And yeah, let the fun begin. This is where the washing machine did go, but it was uh, old and had it. So, but that gives us really good access to remove that and get in and work on it. So 
But pretty much in this boat, we can work right around any part of the engine. It's a real pain in the bum job, but it's gotta be done. We don't want oil in our bilge. We have a dry bilge now with the new tied seal in. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, what do we got in this box? All right. Ah. I don't even know how to open the box. How am I gonna put this together? This should be our bearing. Looks a bit smaller. Uh, I hope you're right. This is our old bearing. We thought the box looked a little bit smaller, but let's have a look. Uh, they've actually changed the bearing name. So, a lady helped me cross-reference that. Still the same brand, but just a different uh, number on there. 446762B. 446762B, okay, so it's the same number, she just had a different reference for it. But that's okay, we have a new bearing. So that's cool. And we have two new lip seals to go on, and a bill. Now William. So today, Mum went over to do some sewing for our new cushions with Terry. All right, so day one of making cushions. Thank you to these lovely ladies. <gasps> we are in the rec room at um, Terry's Marina, Sun Harbor Marina, and they've busted out three cushions already. It's insane. Look, look how good they look. Ooh, so, yeah, pretty, pretty excited. And um, that was, yeah, day one. So we're gonna take these cushions back and put them on the boat. Oh, g'day there, guys. Give me a second. What I'm actually doing here is all my new parts that I've ordered. It took me a long time to uh, find out what was what and where to get them from. Just made myself a little file on my phone. I use uh, Evernote and I've got a list of all my parts that I need. So if I ever do need to get parts for this thrust bearing, I can just look at my phone and I can see um, from these radial shaft seals to the bearings and I'll have all my numbers down. So it makes life easy when you're in the middle of nowhere on a tropical island and you've got to make a phone call and tell them what you need for parts wise and you can't actually, don't have the luxury of uh, bringing your part in and saying, can I have one of these please? So in this case, we didn't have the luxury of the finances to actually buy a new one of these not that we would have anyway because all it was was a simple bearing so this bearing is shot it's rattly it was whistling it was carrying on like a pork chop i've ordered the new bearings new seals i've given a nice little bit of a paint job there she's ready to go back together i suppose it's like all boat parts i removed this found the troublesome part i've done my research just by looking at the product and you can see it was an fks uh, or SKF bearing, which is that company. I just called the company direct, along with my shaft seal sizes. 
the radial shaft seals were one was pretty worn it's a seal is a seal anyway it doesn't really matter but I had to actually measure it up so um, one had the measurements on there and one didn't so that's no problem but I've got all three for the future if ever something was to fail again I've got a reference of them All right, guys, there you have it. Until we install it, it's back on its plate. It's all together. It looks bloody brilliant, I reckon. All right, this is us <laughs> going back out to the boat. We've got our two bikes, our groceries, and then Terry just dropped off all the rest of our cushions, which is amazing. Yeah. So we'll We'll be going like one knot. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, there we go. Velcroed right. on, baby. Look at these new cushions. Thank you to Terry and Christine, who made these in like two days. Incredible women. Thank you so much. It has made such a difference in the boat. It looks beautiful and bright and we love it. We're just so stoked. We get some more pillows to go on there and um oh, we've gotten rid of the 70s it's nice and bright you love it captain yeah 